My name is Jeffrey Kahn, and I'm the host of Digital Oil & Gas, the podcast that looks at the impact of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. If you want to discuss this week's topic further, or just stay in touch, you can always reach me at Jeffrey Kahn on Twitter or at JeffreyCahn.com. This podcast is entitled Bits, Bites, and Barrels, The Digital Transformation of Oil and Gas. The oil and gas industry has moved decisively beyond peak oil, resource scarcity, and rising prices to a new era of abundance and price pressure. With my co-author, Rachel Goyden, I have written a new book, Bits, Bites, and Barrels, about leveraging digital innovation to cope with these fundamental shifts in business models. Why a book? Well, for the past two years, I've been researching, studying, and puzzling over the business model shifts created by digital innovation and their relationships to the oil and gas industry. Digital, which is the combination of data, computing, and connectivity, had been falling in cost and growing wildly. IBM estimated that between 2015 and 2016, just 24 months, the world generated and stored almost 90% more data than the accumulated storage of data from the previous 60 years. My first-generation Apple Watch had the equivalent computing horsepower of a 1990s supercomputer. And the worldwide telecoms networks had transmitted one terabyte of data every second in 2016, compared to just one terabyte a month in 1974, which is an increase of two and a half million times. I could see the impacts on many other industries. Assets that shifted from personal and proprietary to shared through services like Uber, Airbnb, cars to go and LimeBike. The social narratives, both good and bad, that shifted from trusted news sources to information sharing platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Software that shifted from something you license and install on your own computers to services to which you subscribe. Sensors that shifted from high-cost industrial use on SCADA systems to low-cost consumer use through services like Fitbit and Garmin. And data that shifted from expensive and constrained trapped as it was in books uh, such as encyclopedias, to free and ubiquitous through services like Google Earth and Wikipedia. And money that shifted from hard and sovereign, that is U.S. dollars, to digital and ungoverned, like Bitcoin and Ether. Services that shifted from complex, hard to learn and very specialized, such as the uh, legacy ERP systems, to software that is intuitive and easy to use, like WeChat, Spotify, and Instagram. And finally, mechanical devices that shifted from human operator to autonomous. And here I'm thinking about heavy haulers, drones, trains, and submersibles. It was only a matter of time, I believed, before these kinds of digital innovations made their presence felt in the oil and gas industry. And indeed, I perceived little sparks of innovation lighting up across the industrial landscape. I was curious if some kinds of innovation held greater promise than others. But the oil and gas industry is unique, characterized by its outsized value, geopolitical impacts, and complexity. Crude oil is the most valuable traded commodity in the world. Most people narrowly think of the industry as the business of finding the stuff. But some countries have negligible hydrocarbon resources by dint of their geography, including South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan, for example. While others who are blessed with abundance find themselves frequently in horrible conflicts. And here I'm thinking about Iran, Iraq, and Libya. Crude oil itself is useless until it's been refined into valuable petroleum products like jet fuel and diesel. And petroleum is needed everywhere, from primers' fields to airports to harbors to cars. Any truly thoughtful discussion of the impacts of digital on the industry, I believe, must consider the whole of the industry and not just its component pieces. And so this book, Bits, Bites, and Barrels, The Digital Transformation of Oil and Gas, is the result of this research into the key questions that I think are on the minds of those most interested in the industry. Questions like, what business problems in oil and gas could be solved using digital technologies? When will digital innovations come to oil and gas and what will be their impacts? What are the most important digital technologies to consider and where in the value chain will they be most valuable? What is the business case for the digitization of oil and gas? Why is it essential for the industry to embrace digital now? How will the profile of talent in the industry change? What are the oil and gas industry's specific risks and barriers to adoption of digital innovation? What approaches to adopting digital change would be most beneficial? And finally, how can a company, any company, get started with digitization? The book begins with defining what I mean when I say digital 
In my travels around the industry, I found that there isn't a clear, easily shared definition of digital, which makes it nearly impossible to have a coherent discussion on the topic. Ideas like exponential growth are difficult concepts to grasp by humans more used to linear models. The core driver of digital change, the microchips churned out by the billions, illustrates the famous formula from Gordon Moore of Intel, the exponential growth curve and the exponential cost decline curve. Humans struggle with understanding these curves. We are, after all, linear beings, framed by the predictability of sunrise and sunset, of the seasons, of migrations, and of the distance between two points. Ask a golfer to point at a spot on the fairway 30 linear yards from the tee, and she can do so with high reliability. Ask a business professional to pace out 30 exponential yards, and they'll struggle, because it's 26 times around the Earth. Chapter 2 digs into the digital solutions that are most relevant. I have found descriptions of the landscape of digital technologies overly complicated, made so by those selling ever more finely defined solutions with their own brands and names seeking to carve out their own monopoly niche. But there are a number of broad categories of digital innovations that have made an impact on the fortunes of other industries, and these look well situated because of their relevance, rapid growth rates, and maturity to migrate in some fashion to the oil and gas industry. So chapter two lays out the formula for a cohesive digital story that incorporates many digital innovations into a nice, tight narrative. Data will be the fuel for digital. Sensors will generate the data. Artificial intelligence will interpret that data. And robots and autonomous technologies will apply the data to do real work. Cloud computing will be the platform on which the data, sensors, artificial intelligence, and robots live. Blockchain will create trust across the digital landscape, conferring agency on digital devices. ERP systems will remain the foundation for business processes, tracking, and reporting. Agile and a focus on the user will be the new development model. And finally, change management, talent, and leadership will be key to adoption. The book, of course, looks at many other promising innovations, including gamification, 3D printing, and digital reality that could also have an outsized future impact on the industry. As Chapter 2 looks at the horizontal impacts of digital on the whole of industry, Chapter 3 considers the specific business drivers for each significant segment of the oil and gas value chain. And the book sketches out what I think the segments could look like in a robust digital future and how long it might take for the exponential curve of change to become dominant. The value chain in oil and gas is large, long, diverse, and complex. It includes the exploration function, which takes place on land and on water, in mines and in shale. It includes the midstream functions of crude oil and gas handling, treatment, and refining. Next are the downstream elements of wholesaling, trading, and retailing. As an asset-intense industry, oil and gas includes capital execution, which is the design and building of new assets, as well as significant overhead functions of finance, HR, and supply chain. And finally, the chapter looks at the services industry and how services companies could respond to digital. Chapter 4 summarizes the insights of many courageous individuals leading digital change in their companies. They are a wealth of valuable ideas into what works and what doesn't, how to staff a team to tackle digital innovation, the ways to shape the transformation, how to handle the inevitable resistance to change, getting governance right, and building digital capability. Last but not least is the role of the board. Boards have a special role to play in creating the right context for digital to succeed. But there is a digital deficit at the board level. Not many and not enough board members have sufficient depth of exposure and experience in digital to be sufficiently sensitive to the opportunity and the threat. Think back to Blockbuster Video, Toys R Us, Kodak, and many other companies laid low by missing the signals from the digital march forward. Chapter 5 provides guidance for boards on getting smart on digital, framing the scenarios of the future under a highly digital world, developing digital strategies, and leveraging the capabilities of digital ecosystems. And finally, the book presents the case for digital in round economic terms. A handful of respected oil and gas executives, economists, service providers, and technologists have read the draft manuscript, and here's a few of their comments. This new book is an essential roadmap for oil and gas executives and boards to navigate the new work of digital enhancement of their business, avoid false starts and missteps, and unleash new sources of value. 
Digital transformation is a complex and all-pervasive challenge for the oil and gas industry. Knowing how to jump onto this fast-moving vehicle can be the biggest hurdle. This book tells you how to do this. This is a timely, well-researched, practical, and insightful book that plugs a much-needed gap in the market. If you're looking for a one-stop shop that brings together key digital themes and ideas in oil and gas in one place, then this is it. Important reading for boards, the C-suite, and those looking to understand how technology can move the needle or stand up effective internal innovation. The book will come to market and be available for purchase on January 30th. And I look forward to sharing it all with you, and, and I'm sure you'll be delighted with the result. If you enjoyed this podcast, be sure to subscribe to the show. You can find more episodes of Digital Oil & Gas on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, and Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts, or just visit jeffreycan.com slash podcast for more. If you have a minute, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts and tell other people about the show. This helps them discover more great content. Later this year, Jeffrey will publish a book on the impacts of digital innovation on the oil and gas industry. You can keep track of this new project by following Jeffrey on LinkedIn. Thanks for listening to this episode of Digital Oil and Gas. The podcast returns next Wednesday, so tune in then.